Hey, welcome back to Spirit Music Meetups. Mike Burris here. Boy, you're going to have to watch that last video. The, the second half of it really goes into polyrhythm independence. And it was a 2 over 3 hemiola, 2 over 3 polyrhythm. And it was very complicated, but we broke it down inch by inch, stroke by stroke, and we built sound memory progressively and visual memory and motion memory all at the same time. Stroke by stroke, moving forward, I call that progressive method. And uh, that was a divine revelation one time in my life, so I'm passing that on to you. Now he goes into uh, building this, you see that on the top there, with more complicated, not just double bucks and triple bucks, but he's using um, those not just for six, eight time, but odd time. Five, seven, ten. Oh, and I'm not gonna, you need to go watch that video on how to do this cinch by inch. Cinch, it's a cinch by the inch. But you're looking at this, it's hard by the yard. If you just try to go into this, because they got. In this five, you got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And then the left hand is going one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. But that doesn't add up to five. One, two, three, four, five. The next one, one, is in the next measure. So it actually takes two measures to get back to one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. See, back to one. It took two measures. Sometimes polyrhythms do that, right? It takes more than one measure to, to get back to the beginning of the cycle. So I'm just gonna use that same method, but not explain it fully. You gotta go watch that other video. So I'm building sound memory, one, two. One, two. I'm looking at what each hand does for the first two strokes. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And I'm going to do that 20 times. Pretend I'm doing it 20 times. I'm trying to build up one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Then it says I've got to do three, four. That's the next one. It looks like one, two, and three, four are the same. One, two, three, four. Yep, they're the same. One, two, three, four. 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 I would do that 20 times. Now I'm going to add one more stroke because it breaks breaks it. It's one, two. I'm going to do a pattern. I see a pattern. Five and one. And two, let me see this. I see a pattern here. Five, one, two, three, and four. I see four alternating flams. Wow, what an obvious pattern. So we got one, two, three, four, five, one. Two. One, two, oh, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four. I forgot my pattern. One, two, three, four, and then five, one, two, three, four. All right, so I'm going to try to remember. One, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Wow, there's one, two, three, four, five flams in a row. Ha! Huh. Right? Five, one, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to remember that. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. And then the last one is five. So you got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Five, one. Think of five, five, one as a pickup note. Five, one, two, three, four. Five one two three four five one two three four five one two three four. So I'm just making a little song. Songs sometimes to help you remember things. 
five, one, two, three, four, 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 five, five. Five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Oop, we made a memory error, so we slow down. Always change what you do or you're going to create the problem again. Five, one, two, three, four, 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 five, one, two, three, four. So I want to get that five one two three four 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 five one two three four. Now you could count this some other way to help you remember. I could go five one. I could go one two three four one two. I don't. I don't want to do that. I want to stick with the count five one two three four because that'll help me memorize the pattern. If I introduce another counting, it might throw me off. One. Five, one, two, three, four, and then I could count it like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five. Is it five? It's, um, let me look at this. Make sure I don't create another mistake. Don't assume. So we got it. Count it instead of five, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna go five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Just a different way of counting, but it helps me remember it. Five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Is that what it is? Five, one, two, three, yeah. Five, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, one, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, five, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four, one, five, five. So now I want to get back to the regular counting. Five, one, two, three, four, one, five, one, two, three, four, 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 five, one, two, three, four. Five one two three four 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 five one again when you go on one sound you better have that motion memory sound memory oh boy you better have it all five one five one two three four 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 five one two four five one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five one so cinch by the inch hard by the yard watch the previous video so you really understand that now let's look at what he's talking about here on independence building What's going on there? The bottom line is now the bass drum, or you could make your left foot, right? You can make your left foot, but you really you can make it your left hand. So what do we got here? One and two. Now, this is how I do. This is steady. So I have a whole method on in groove, how to, how to learn grooves using independence. This doesn't change. I look for the thing that's not changing. One and two and three and four. And three. So this doesn't change, and I know every number is the one that's being played louder. One and two and three and four. And three. So what I'm going to do is say that a little softer. And I'm going to yell out, so that goes to the back of my brain because I'm... I'm, I'm it's making it soft and it's automatic. It's an ostinato. It's the thing that doesn't change. It's steady. Ostinato, back of the brain. Make it automatic like the back of a stage just becomes dark. And we're going to put a spotlight on the front of the stage, on the singer. Your singer is your mouth. And that is your frontal cortex or your brain. All right? Cerebrum. 
we're going to say that loud, louder than the soft, right? And that becomes our spotlight using our mouth, and that will program our brain like a computer to tell us where to put the other limb. It could be our left hand, that bottom note. It could be my left foot or my right foot. It could be both my feet. It could be all three limbs. Whatever you want it to be, you're telling it where it's to be. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and see this is doesn't change. One and two and three and four. One and two, three and four. one and three and 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 one and two and three and one and three and now I'm gonna make it so soft you can't even hear this. All you can hear is this. One so I'm saying it in my mouth. I'm still moving my lips because that moves your brain, creates a bigger memory file. One and three. One and three. One and three. One three. One and three. So the next measure says play on two and four. After a while, this is gonna never, you're never gonna think about it. It's so far in the back of your brain, it's dark. So now you're just reading the thing that changes. I call it the melody. I have a, a link there for ostinato versus melody. So I'm going to look on the bottom line. It's on counts two and four. Two and four and two and and four and two and and four and. The louder and more exaggerated the loud part is, the bigger the memory, right? So you don't want to go one, two, you know, you want to make that too loud. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and make sure it doesn't change this. One and two and three and four and one and two and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and four and Four and two, four, two, four, two, four, two, four. That's a regular standard rock and roll backbeat there on the left hand. So you're going to do this with your left foot, your right foot, both feet, uh, your left hand and your right foot, your left hand and your left foot, every combination you can to create independence of your limbs. So your limbs are not depending on each other. Break all those. Cut all those rubber bands. Cut them all. Those rubber bands that are holding limbs together so that they cannot do their own thing. Okay? But that's how I do it. And they do the same thing with eighth notes. One and three and. One and three and. One and three and. One and. And one, notice these are both loud, but this is pumping. If you have a hard time doing that, go. Break the coordination down so it's loud. It's, it's simultaneous playing and then a left land. Simultaneous left land. Break it down to build the coordination so that doesn't hang you up. And they're, then they're kind of just moving that around. So just like one and three became two and four, it got shifted forward, right? They're shifting forward. That's in previous videos. It's how you create, you're displacing or shifting it forward to create a permutation, another variation on the theme, okay? So one and two and four 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 all right if you had
had a problem with that coordination, what is it? One, one, and. One, and. One, and two. One, and two. I'm just doing a portion of it. One, and two. One, and two. Just so you get that and two. One, and. One, and. One, and. One, and. One, and two. One, and two. See, I did the assembly line. Inch by inch. Cinch by the inch. Yard by the yard. Then they're doing... 60 notes. So he's and us are between. He's and us are between one e and a, two e and a, one e and a. So the e's and us are between this. So it's one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e and a. See so that one e and a, two e and a, three e and a, four e. I get that E up right away. One E and a. two E and a. So it's kind of one E and one E goes up and one E and two E and three E and. So you might just practice that simultaneous up and then the hand. some things going on there. Then you shift that over to E and. E and. One E and. One. Now, is it accident? Uh, you don't have to accent these, by the way. You can go, you don't, you don't have to accent them. You can go one E and. One E and. So that's even easier, isn't it? That's one E and two E and. So now it's one E and one E and two E and one E and two E and. Trying to keep that hand. An E and goes over to and up. One and up. One and up. Two. And uh, one, sorry, one and uh, two and uh, one and uh, one and uh, one and see, this is and uh, one and uh, one and uh, one. So I take it again, cinch by the inch. Think about what every hand has to do. Can you kind of confuse it a little bit saying that the these are going to be really loud. You could make all these loud. What is that then? One E. One E. So this has got to stay down. One E and. One E and. That's a whole nother. If you make the left hand all loud. Now this is going to be easier with the bass drum and the hi-hat because you don't have to worry about loud or soft. It's just what it is. Play whatever it, whatever it is. You don't have to worry about these strokes. Now, you can do the same thing with other subdivisions of time. 1D dot, 2D dot, 3D dot, 4D dot. That's eight note triplets. How about eight note shuffles? 1D dot, so the D is missing. 1D dot, 2D dot. It's just an eighth note but shuffle. So you can do that, and he's got exercises, Jeff does, for that. Moving the left, moving the feet, and there's all kinds of exercises for that. Let's see if we should go on to page 13. No, it's page 13. Why not? Page 13. Accented single stroke roll builder. See that? Why not? Let's finish out. Short video here. What he's doing, he's doing one and two and three and four. And we already saw that. We caught a quadruple buck 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or the opposite, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Molar fours. And the second half of the vi uh, the second half of the measure, he's gonna do sixteenths. So he's filling it all in. So he's going one and two and three and a four each. One and two and three and a what is it? Three and because this is one and two and three and a four and a one and two. And a one and two and three and a four and a one and two and three and a four and So this doesn't change. One and two and three and a four and a one and two and three. I remember eighth boy, eighth grade, maybe seventh, eighth, I mean, maybe high school. I remember learning that. So then the second time you do it, it's all the way through. So it's one and it's not it's one and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one and two and three and one and a two and a three and a four and a one. So when you put it together, you got one and half measures, one and two and three and a four and a one and two and three and a four and a one and two and three and four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one and two and three and four, right? So that's how that works. Now, you can do the same thing with 16th notes. One E and uh, Now, when you add the left hand fill in, it becomes 32nd notes. We don't count them, we just keep counting this. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, one. Then you can do it further out. One E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, one E and uh, two E and three E and uh, four E and uh, one. And then finally, he does this uh, kind of a 16th note triplet, uh, 16th note triplets from eighth note triplets. Here's the eighth note triplet. One D da. One D da, so you count this. One D da, two D da, three D da, four D da. See, I'm still counting the right hand doing triple bucks. One D da, two D da, three D da, four D da, one D da, two D da, three D da, four D da, one. You can go out further. One D da, two D da, three D da, four D da, one D da, D da da, three D da. One D da, two D da, three D da, four D da. It's a lot easier trying, trying than trying to count sixteenth note triplets, because that's like one D, one D D and da da, one D D and da, one D D and da da, one D D, one D D and da da, one D D and da da. It's one D D and one. One D D and uh, da. One D D. It's. I can't say it. <laughs> I can see it written now. I just can't say it that fast. So just count your right hand. That's your one D da, two D da, three D da, four D da, one D da, two D da, three D da, four D da, one D da, two D da, three D da, four D da, one. See, I can't count any faster than that. So that gets us through pages twelve and thirteen. So I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And then that way we teach each other, right? We're teaching one another. That's what this website's all about. So I can't wait to see what you guys have to help people with these concepts on this video. Just stick it, stick your comments to this video because there's a lot of other videos. We don't want to confuse people. God bless you and, and look forward to hearing from you. All right? Bye-bye.